Syria is accusing Israel of launching a missile attack early Wednesday morning into Syrian territory and says that Syrian air defenses downed a number of missiles. The missile firing took place at 2 a.m. on Tal Ahara in the southern region of Syria, according to Sana, a Syrian state news agency, which added that the attack only caused material damage and no fatalities were reported. The IDF has not issued a reaction. The Netanyahu government is turning away from peace. Democratic presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg said in an address focusing on foreign policy at the University of Indiana in Bloomington on Tuesday. Buttigieg, who serves as mayor of South Bend, Indiana, threatened to withhold support from Israel. He said, if Prime Minister Netanyahu makes good on his promise to annex West Bank settlements, he should know that a President Buttigieg would take steps to ensure that American taxpayers won't help foot the bill. Ford, Renault, and Nissan are the latest car makers to open up innovation centers in Israel to take advantage of the startup nation's technology prowess. A future of self-driving cars is one of the big factors. On June 10th, Renault and Nissan inaugurated a joint innovation lab in Tel Aviv. Ford opened its innovation center on Wednesday. Car company representatives were in Tel Aviv this week to attend the EcoMotion conference, which ran from Monday to Thursday. 23-year-old Lauren Isaacs, a Toronto native, had no idea that during her vacation to Israel, she would end up leaving a mark of disgrace on the forehead of 1.6 billion Muslims, to quote the Palestinian Al-Quds TV channel. Lauren, who works as the Toronto director of Harut Canada, a pro-Zionist organization, went up to the Temple Mount on June 11th with her mother. Excited to be at Judaism's holiest site, she unfurled her Harut Canada flag, and her mom snapped a picture of her with the Dome of the Rock in the background. I'm a proud Jew, an unapologetic Zionist, and I was standing on my holy ground. And when you're standing on your holy ground, I don't think there's anything wrong with holding your flag with pride, she said. Apparently, the Harut Canada flag, which resembles an Israeli flag, was too much for the pro-Hamas TV station.